Morning guys and welcome back to my weekly vlog. I hope you're all super well. I am off to London this morning. I've actually got another photo shoot with Maybelline. Basically, I did a shoot with them a couple of weeks ago and all their footage messed up. So awful. So yeah, I'm going back in to reshoot everything. And um, yeah, really excited. But I can't say anything. It will be revealed in January. But yeah, let's go to London. Hey guys, it is now Wednesday. Tuesday. Honestly, my brain today. I've just filmed this New Year's Eve sparkly makeup look for you guys. It's gonna be up very, very soon. Um, sorry I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, yeah, so I did my shoot in London, got back and basically edited last week's vlog and then I just had a bit of a shit evening, if I'm honest with you. I did not want to talk to anybody. I just wanted to be on my own. I just had one of those evenings where I just wanted to close myself off from the world. Um, yes, I was very angry and upset and yeah, not fun. Don't wanna go into why, but that is why I didn't really vlog. So sorry, but I've woken up today and I'm just gonna get on with working and just push through it and just try and be positive. So yeah, I'm shooting a New Year's Eve kind of haul-y lookbooky video for YouTube. I've just filmed the makeup look. So yes, I'm really busy today just shooting, but I just wanted to stop and show you this amazing dress because it's ridiculous. Look at this dress. It is unreal. It did have a belt on it, but I've just taken it off. It's so cool. It is basically by this girl on Instagram called That's So Amazing. I'll pop a link below to her Instagram. She hand makes dresses and uh, she uses a lot of chul and it's just amazing and she can make you one. And she actually gave me a discount code so I'll pop a link below to her Instagram and the discount code below as well if you're interested in getting a fabulous dress. <laughs> this is an outrageous New Year's Eve look but I'm basically doing a New Year's Eve video to show you guys inspo for New Year's Eve, but I've got like outrageous outfits, sparkly ones, and then I've got like really sophisticated ones, kind of like you're doing a bit of everything. Um, so yeah, back to filming. Got another dress on, how unreal is this? Oh, I love it, it's like a bodysuit, and then you've got this amazing skirt on it from ASOS. Mm, so cute. Right, this is the last dress I'm filming, and then I need to go downstairs and have some food, and then it's time to edit. Excuse the makeup because I took my lashes off, so I don't know if it's like ruined it. Um, and I've been biting my lips all day. That's all dry. Uh, I have been editing for so long, and I've not finished. It's gonna be a late night tonight. Just wanna like try and get all my work done before Christmas, so then I don't have to work over Christmas. So. Yeah, so it's going to be a few late nights this week, I think, and busy days, just trying to get everything done. Um, how is it Christmas next week? It's ridiculous. It's actually crazy. What is, it? what is the day? It's Christmas next. Wednesday. Man, it's coming around too quick. I haven't even wrapped any presents. I need to finish off shopping as well. And me and Robin are hosting Christmas this year. We need to go food shopping, which I think we're gonna do tomorrow or Thursday to get everything. I've written a list and stuff, so that's good. Um, yeah, hopefully the shops don't sell out though. I don't know how far in advance we will get the food. Um, but yeah, Robin's just cooked me dinner. So I'm gonna go and have some dinners. Pretty sure me and Robin have this at least once a week. But hey, he is Swedish. Oh, it's half 10. Just finished working. God, today has been so long. But I've smashed it out and I've checked my diary and basically I've only got a little bit of work to do tomorrow and Thursday. And then, fingers crossed, I think I'm done until the new year. Oh, I feel so good. But yeah, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Hey guys, it is now Wednesday and I've just been editing. Shot a video this morning. Um, also, how funny is this? This is literally what I'm like every day. My top half looks fabulous always wearing pj bottoms on the bottom <laughs> so funny classic influencer look if there's any influencers watching this then you know um i think i might go food shopping because i've written our christmas list i think i might go and get everything on the christmas list that is like cupboard 
kind of non-perishable stuff and drink and chocolate and stuff like that and then we're going to do the fresh food shop another day so i think i might go do that now and then i've got my counseling at three o'clock today um because i wasn't free on monday so yeah i'm gonna go counseling at three and then get my nails on tonight still got on these impress nails i've been on for three days now so good they last so so well um just something to tie me over until i get my gel nails from alice we're gonna go super sparkly for christmas yes our trolley is stocked getting all the christmas goodies we've missed out on a lot of content yeah to be fair uh, you have missed out because this has actually been quite a hilarious shopping trip should have vlogged the whole thing of me and Robin just running around Sainsbury's arguing. <laughs> oh, just got home, about to eat some lunch because then I've got a rush off to counselling. But um, my God, we got to the checkout, paid for, I'd say probably 75% of all the food. And yeah, I did get a big shock when they told me how much to pay. Christmas is expensive. Um, wow, like, it now makes both of us really appreciate every Christmas we've ever spent with anybody who's cooked for us because and paid for it all. yeah paid for it all because it is so expensive like I genuinely didn't think it was this much like but it's little things like buying chocolates and buying cheese and the crackers and then buying the meat and the, the veg cheese, and the obviously Alcohol. cooking for like you're always cooking for like at least you know five plus people like wow wow we, doing that again? we did not realize how expensive it was could I use it just got back from counseling and I had a bath and washed my hair. It was super relaxing. Um, so, we bought a few things today in our Christmas food shop, basically because I'm making my own DIY Christmas crackers. I thought it was a better idea because most of the prizes you get in Christmas crackers are pretty naff. So I thought I would do like really cute, personalized like presents inside the crackers so i bought these diy ones from this random shop online i'll probably link below they're quite big i'll show you they're quite large so you can fit something pretty decent in the inside and they come like that and there's a little diagram on what to do it comes with hats jokes and even the little popper thing as well which is so good and then i bought some ribbon to tie around the end and um yeah i'm gonna start making some just had alice round doing my nails Gone very, very Christmassy with the um, black and gold. So cute. Hi guys, it is Thursday. We're getting closer to Christmas. Crazy. Um, I took the dogs to the vets this morning because I had to have their yearly vaccinations and they had a little health check. Um, so yes, yeah, so they did that. Um, I've just done my makeup and I've put in my clipping ponytail and I've got on this amazing dress from House of CB which I'm about to shoot. I'm going to shoot a couple of party looks today um, just so I've got some posts over Christmas because I don't want to work over Christmas. I'm trying to get everything boshed out. Yeah, I'm going to try and finish all my work today and then I won't have to work over Christmas which would be so nice because I've worked really hard this year and I'm just keen to just have a break and it's the best time of year because everyone else is on holiday as well so like brand agency like everyone is on holiday so it actually means people will leave me alone and i can actually rest and relax guys i am back creating my diy christmas crackers again and i'm using my cricket machine which i've not used in ages but i'm basically cutting out people's names and i'm going to stick them on the crackers and I'm also cutting out some stars as well um to jazz up my plain crackers so at the moment i've got gold vinyl and i'm getting some black vinyl delivered tomorrow hopefully because i've got black and gold crackers so i'm going to do like the flip color so on the gold crackers i'll use black vinyl and on the black crackers i'll use gold vinyl just cut out everybody's names on the vinyl just finished just finished the crackers guys how gorgeous do they look so it means that these are actually my crackers for everyone with a little present in and also my name tags on the table so people know where they're going to be sitting so cute i love them gonna finish the rest off another day because i still need to get some presents for the inside of some of them and yeah, obviously wait for the black vinyl to arrive tomorrow, hopefully. 
Hands up if you want to be shadow right now. He looks so friggin' cozy. He cozy? You sleepy? Oh, so gel. That loud noise of the cricket machine finishing. Yes, I cut out some more stars. Although, can you see them? Can you see them? You can't see them. Wait, kind of. No, you definitely can't. Oh, morning guys, it's now Friday and I've just got back from town. I had to go for an eye test and I did a little bit of Christmas shopping. So I thought I'd show you a couple of things that I bought. I got these from Paper Chase. I thought these were so, so cute, little Christmas boxes. I do beauty boxes or hampers every Christmas for family and yeah. Normally I get like a basket and I do like a proper like basket hamper, but this year I thought I would get a box and when I saw those in Paper Chase I was like, oh, perfect, so cute and it will fit lots of beauty products in for my family. So um, yeah, they were only £6 each, so nice little bargain there. And I might get them, give them back to me so I can use them next year because they're, they're really, really nice. <laughs> then I bought loads of presents for Robin's stocking and yeah, that was basically, oh, that's basically it. Oh, and I got a Christmas cracker present for his dad. Um, Guys, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I think that's it actually. And then, oh yeah, and then I got some candles for our Christmas table. So excited to do our Christmas table this year because we're hosting. I bought some candles from Tiger. She's got some black candlesticks and then also some white like pillar candles. Um, that's it, I think. Yeah. We need to go food shopping today and get the rest of the food, like all the fresh stuff um, before it all goes at the supermarket. Right, I've cut out all my stuff on the black vinyl there and I'm making the gold Christmas crackers now. They look so cute. Christmas crackers are done. Robin just needs to sort mine out now. He needs to buy me a little present to go inside and then I'm gonna seal it up for him without looking. <laughs> oh, so got back from food shopping. We have completed our Christmas shopping apart from a loaf of fresh bread. That's it. All yeah. the food is done, the it's fridge is stocked money. up. Show them the yeah, we spent a lot of money. However, we, me and Robin actually Show put, them the wait in a minute. Show we, them the wait, we put Show money, them the in a minute, we put money aside every month and we always just forget about it. And then we're like, oh my God, like we really need it for the, like the vets or we need it for this. And we just thought, hang on a minute, let's look in our little saving pot for Christmas. Had exactly the right amount in there for what we spent on Christmas food, which is perfect. So just that, half, really. that, Oh, Worked out really well, but yeah, this is the fridge. <laughs> All the milk, and yeah, it is stocked up, ready for What's Christmas your favorite day. Item in the What's your favourite item? My favourite item in the fridge? Yeah, right now. That ham. That ham's your favourite. But yeah, we are about to bake some brownies because we thought, why Galaxy brownies. And yeah, galaxy brownies. Um, gluten free obviously. Yeah, gluten free. So I bought gluten free flour. And we've got baking powder, eggs, cast of sugar, galaxy. Yeah, so, I think that's it. I found a recipe online. I will link it below. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to bake. To bake? I've not baked in years. We've not baked in years. We just thought, it's Friday night. Is it Friday? It's Friday. It's Friday baked. night. Let's just bake and You'd then we're going to go and watch Toy years. Story. Uh, here we are, for ingredients. This is now a cooking channel, guys. Yeah, <laughs> cooking channel. Stop it. Ah! Bad start already. Oh my God, guys, bad start already. Robin went to go in the fridge because it stocked up so much. Also, he was holding an egg in his hand. The custard fell out and he just crunched the egg in the his custard. hand. Yeah, he caught the custard, but the egg is now crunched so in the egg down. Right. So yeah, gross. Right, we've got Sugar and flour in there, and butter and galaxy chocolate in there. Beat it! Beat it! <laughs> so we're beating the, we've added in three eggs into that dry mixture. Yeah. Robin's beating it. And then, so we do that, and then we pour in the melted chocolate and butter, and yeah. then it goes into there. And then how long do you. Okay, go on then. Ready? Is it, are you sure it's all melted? Yeah. Yeah, go on then. Oh god, that's amazing. It's like ASMR. We should have done ASMR cooking. It's grim. 
Why are you saying grim? ASMR is so weird. Yeah, but just, just don't talk and listen. It's weirdly quite relaxing. I'm kind of hoping it's going to sound a bit gloopy. Yeah. Disappointing. Okay, go on then. We're really? trying this weird. There was no baking paper, was there? So we're just trying this weird thing. How much do I do? Use, apparently. Surely you mean? it shouldn't be at an angle like that. It needs to be straight. Yeah, but you can. F okay. Oh, you're dripping it everywhere. Where? On the worktop. Come on, That's hurry right. up. That's right. Ready? Just pour it in. I am. I need you. Hurry up. <gasps> be oh, careful what you're doing with that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. wait, it looks great. like caramel. Yeah, this looks great. Oh yeah, this is great. Well, that was a nice and quick baking session. <laughs> we were over within five minutes. <laughs> to be fair, that's a good baking session for us. I think, first time. Yeah, first time. And um, I think we'd just be bored after a while. Um, it's in the oven and fingers crossed the brownies come out okay. Oh my God, our brownie is cooked. Bit of a weird shape though. Ooh, ooh. It's a huge fail. It's gluten free though. I don't it know. is gluten free, but it looks like cake. It's a cake. It looks like it's like squidgy. What, the, what is this? That recipe was awful. I'm not linking the recipe below. Ooh. <laughs> How bad is it? Yeah, it's actually quite good. Just the cake. <laughs> Just cake, it's not brownie. <laughs> How did we mess up? We were good actually. It's rubbish. It's just the cake. Oh! The bottom tastes brownie like. Like the bottom chewy. Maybe we need to leave it in for longer. No. <laughs> that's a cake. It's a cake, but the bottom bit tastes like a brownie. No. So, that's a cake. Mm, it's a cake. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I am going to link it below because I actually really like that. Don't bake this. It's really tasty, Don't bake but it's it. more of a brownie cake. <laughs> it's not a brownie cake, it's just a cake. <laughs> Morning, guys, it is now Saturday, and me and Robin are off to London. Got a bit of a funny tummy this morning, though. I've got a bit of an IBS flare up, which is so typical when we're going to be out of the house all day. <laughs> but the toilet a few times this morning already so I'm hoping I've got everything out <laughs> not nice um yeah so we are going to London so for our anniversary our first anniversary it it was paper is like kind of like the wedding -y kind of themed gift that you get like every year is a different theme and the first is paper so I thought I would get Robin some tickets to something and I decided to go with the Stranger Things Secret Cinema. Never done a secret cinema before. I've heard that they are amazing. I've heard that this specific one is really, really good. No one would obviously tell us any details and you can't find any details online or anything about it to be honest because obviously it's secret. Um, so yeah, all we know is that we're gonna go to a tube station in London and then they will direct us to Star Court Mall. I've seen a couple of pictures and they've legit done the front of Star Court Mall. It looks amazing. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I think it's about three hours long, this whole thing. So we're gonna get there for like 1.45. And yeah, I'm gonna leave my camera at home there because obviously you're not actually allowed to film or go on your phone. You actually think you have to lock your phone away before you even go in. So yeah, I'm just gonna head to London and have a nice day with Robin and I will come back to my vlog later this evening and tell you about our day and fill you in on the secret cinema, whether it's worth going to. I think it's gonna be good and I'm really, really excited. Also for secret cinema, they make you dress up. So we logged onto this like special website thing um, when you get your tickets. I think it was like, when was it? Probably like a week ago and you log on you sign up and you register and we both got given a school uh school card so we both got given names and like a personality of who we're going to be and we we got to choose out of three different ways of dressing up and we chose to be punk hence my punky outfit i've got on this tartan dress and then a studded fringe leather jacket well faux leather jacket so yeah very punk and um 
so excited so let's get going to london and i'll fill you in later on oh evening guys i'm back home from london it's been a long day oh but my god that secret cinema thing was so good that was our first ever secret cinema and yeah it did not disappoint it was so cool like i don't want to obviously like give too much away um but it was very interactive um yeah loads going on there was actually stuff um like places to eat within the secret cinema as well drink um it lasted for about three hours but it felt like we were in there for probably about five hours because you have no concept of time you obviously can't see your phone or anything there's no clocks in there like yeah it was really weird coming out and looking at our phone and being like oh that wasn't actually that long however it felt so much longer but my god it was so good the actors were amazing um i love the fact that it was stranger things themed yeah it was so good like i would 100 percent do a secret cinema thing again the only thing is i think we wished we'd bought a pen and paper because when you're basically like going around you get told a lot of information about things you, we basically kind of had like a little secret mission that we had to complete and at times like me and robin it was fine having two of us because we were like talking to each other and like telling us each other the information and we were remembering it i do think though if you were to go in a bigger group i just don't know whether you would get distracted by all the things to do and the fact that there's drink and food and i just don't know whether you'd actually do the secret mission so i do think it was good going as a couple uh, maybe if there was like like maybe four max I don't know. There was a lot of families there, actually. It was really cool. Oh, my God. We saw Terry Crews. Like, literally. We were like, hang on a minute. Is that Terry Crews from America's Got Talent? Say what? Oh, my God. It is. And we were like, hang on a minute. And it was so cute. He's there with the kids and his family. Um, so, yeah, that was weird. But, yeah. Really enjoyed it. Robin loved it. And it's kind of made me want to watch Stranger Things again. But no, really, really good. Highly recommend going. I don't know how long the Stranger Things one is on until, but there was loads of people there today. Everyone was dressed up. Like, it was just like a really fun, different thing to do. Um, but yeah, I've actually got really bad headache now. Um, so I'm going to go to bed. And yeah, Sunday tomorrow. And we've actually got plans, which is nice. Hey guys, it is now Sunday, and I've not actually vlogged yet. Um, why is my battery so low? I charged my camera earlier. How weird. Um, yeah, not vlogged yet. Basically, I have been wrapping presents today, organising everyone's presents and just making sure that I've got everything. And then, yeah, that's it really. I've been busy doing that, so that's why I didn't really vlog much. I will show you the presents under the tree though. And yeah, me and Robin are about to head to a drive-in cinema amazing there's never ever been one in colchester before and i saw it come up in the local news recently so i was like robin should we go watch a film there because they were playing loads of different films so we wanted to do one close to christmas and we wanted to do a christmas film so we're going to see the grinch obs so excited i've never done anything like this before i think you like hook it up to your radio in your car or something then it and then you, you obviously like watch a big screen so i'm wrapped up warm we're going to get blankies and i think we're going to check out the food decks they've got like a little christmasy market thing um super cute so yeah let's go watch the grinch we've just arrived at the drive-in cinema robin's getting cozy we've reclined our seats we were going to turn the car around and lay in the back and watch out the boot however i don't know if you can see but we've got a wheel like a massive tire it's got a jeep in the middle of the wind window at the back so basically it meant that we couldn't really do that so we've reclined our seats and we are sitting in the front and the screen is right in front of us it's huge and we've tuned in to the radio station that the film is going to be playing out of got some chips and a drink and then the film is going to be playing right there very very shortly so cozy <laughs> are you excited very excited are you warm mm. the only thing is it's going to start steaming up in the car isn't it i'm not it already that warm is. wait is it steaming up yeah. it's because of your chips oh <laughs> better eat them then we are home 
We picked up a McDonald's on the way back. Naughty. Um, even though I had chips in the car. So the hungry. Great, yeah. yeah, the food wasn't that great, which was annoying. I thought it was going to be a bit, a bit better. There was loads of stalls, but half of them were shut. So I don't know whether they're more like open for the day ones, but not the, the evening. evening. Oh yeah, maybe they have a break at the five o'clock ones because it's not properly dinner. Yeah, could be. Uh, but the film was great and it was really cute. We'd never done anything like it before. And yeah, we had to keep doing our um, windscreen fan a couple of times because it kept steaming up a little bit. But other than that, it was fine. We were warm and cosy with our blankets. And yeah, it was really cute. So I really liked it. Thumbs up from me. Hey guys, I am tucked up in bed. My makeup's all off and I've cleansed and toned and yeah, I'm in bed. And um just want to say thanks for watching this week's vlog. Tomorrow I'm super excited because we are prepping for Christmas Day. So we're gonna cook our ham, we are gonna set up the table. Oh, why is this camera blurry? Sorry guys. I'm having so many issues with my camera at the moment. I feel like I might Try and find a new vlogging camera. I don't know what it is. The G7X Mark II seems to be so much better at focusing than the Mark III. It's really, really weird. I don't know if anyone else has this camera and has been having issues. I did the software update recently, but I don't know, it just keeps going in and out of focus way more than the Mark II, which I find so weird. Um, like even now, I feel like it's not crisp. It's really, really odd. Don't I? Um, so yeah, if anyone has any ideas of any new vlogging cameras, please tell me your thoughts. Um, yeah, prepping for Christmas Day tomorrow. Um, setting up the table, finishing wrapping presents, need to tidy the house as well. And yeah, so me and Robin are gonna do that and smash that tomorrow. I'm gonna vlog next week a little bit different. Um, so I'm gonna do Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna just vlog pre Christmas, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day as one main vlog, and then I will do a new vlog from Thursday to the following Monday. I think, I think that's how I've done it. Yeah, because I feel like I want to get my Christmas vlog up soon, otherwise, it'll be up like a week later, and it's kind of well people would have just forgotten about it so yeah that's what i'm gonna do so i'm just gonna try and vlog as much as i can tomorrow and then christmas eve for us is actually swedish christmas so i get two christmases um because robin's family is swedish if you guys didn't know so yeah so that's quite exciting so i thought i would try and vlog those three days and put it into one video um but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in next week's vlog well my christmas vlog a Christmas vlog. Peace out.